Good evening. You are watching Catamount Access Television, Channel 17. It's time now for the Bennington News Hour. Coming to you this evening from Cat TV's fabulous Chester J. Hickok Memorial Studio here on Main Street in beautiful downtown Bennington, Vermont. Our guests in the studio today are Sean Marie Oler and Rob Plunkett, both co-chairs of the Town of Bennington's Charter Review Committee. This committee has met and reviewed the charter and has forwarded their recommendations to changes to the charter to the Bennington Select Board, which is currently reviewing those recommendations. And thank you both very much for coming in and being with us today. Thank you, Robert. I'm thank going you for having to, us. I'm going to make um, a wild guess and assume that you're Sean Marie. Yes. Okay, and then that would make you Rob. That's Rob me. Bunkett. Great, <laughs> okay. So before we get into the, the nuts and bolts, of your recommended changes to the charter. Could you give us uh, perhaps a little background of, of what exactly the charter is and, and what its purpose and function is? Well, I, I can explain a, a little bit about what the charter is and, and, and I'll actually just explain it to you, Robert, although okay. I know you know because you were part of our, our committees. So the, uh, the charter itself is a state statute. It's, okay. it's a unique state statute that only applies to a town, in this case it's Bennington. Um, and the, uh, the Vermont laws regarding towns is essentially a town only has the powers that the state gives it. Uh, and there are other statutes that involve that, but the charter is something that's unique that would either give the town more powers or perhaps limit some of the, some of the powers. And in our case, I believe it's, it's all just uh, additional powers or uh, I'll, I'll just call them powers for the, for the sake, sake of okay. this. To, to run the town. To run the town, uh, run and the different town. things that... Is, yeah. is the charter written on like a scroll of goat skin or something, <laughs> or...? The, the original charter, I believe, exactly was, okay. but that came from the King of England. Oh, my, not, oh not okay. This, but no, it's, it's, a, it's just a regular statute, and, okay. and in, um, in our case, uh, the modern version that is essentially the, the template of what we've okay. been working on was in, I believe it was 1967. It's, it's oh. a state law just like any other. Okay. Um, and Robert, could oh, I oh. interject something? Please do. So all of the town um, s charters in the ta in the state of Vermont are listed on the uh, legislative website. So okay. if anybody was interested in seeing our charter, the Bennington Charter as it exists now, or any other town's charter, they're able to find it on the legislative website. Okay, great. Um, so what what caused our charter to be reviewed? Who thought to review it? Well, I believe the select board, um, well, the way it's written in the charter is it needs to be reviewed from time to time. Okay. We did make a change to that. And the select board appointed a committee, and I believe it had been 12 years, so oh. it was time to review the it's charter. It's time to, to clear the dust off and take a look at it. And how is the committee formed? Did they pull names at random from the phone book and ask people to serve, or how did they put the committee together? <laughs> Well, what, what what I know is that I I applied, okay. submitted oh. an application that was written and was interviewed by uh, not all of the select board. I don't believe they were all there. Uh, yeah. And then uh, ultimately, at, at one of their meetings, they selected okay. the so seven of us. They were interviews for this. Yes. How many people were on the committee? Seven. Seven, seven. people. Okay. And what was the committee's charge? Uh, were, were you told to to look at specific parts of of the charter to to see about updating them, or were you told just to look at the whole thing or were you told anything? My understanding and um, it's right in our report was that our charge given to us by Tom, Tom Jacobs the select board chair was to review the town charter, recommended, recommend any changes as, as we as the committee found necessary or advisable for the purpose of improving the operation oh. of town government. Okay and how did you go about this? Did did the committee itself decide to look at certain parts of the charter, or, or how, how did you approach this? Well, y yes, we decided to look at all of the parts of the charter. The whole thing. Now, our first, I believe it was our first meeting, it was one of our first meetings, we decided uh, as a committee to literally go through the charter 
line by line okay. uh, with that uh, with that charge in mind, and and the charge that that Sean Marie had read and, and that Tom had uh, expressed to us uh, is taken right out of the charter itself, okay. the this, this specific section on the charter review committee. So we went through every word wow. of okay. the charter, every word, yeah. every semicolon. Yeah. Okay, uh, <laughs> Many from times. beginning to we, end. Okay, we did. Oh, uh, when when did when did the committee get started? July. Uh, yeah, in, I forget the exact date. Was July. And yeah. how long did this take? When did you finish? We, we submitted our report on the was it the twenty second of December, the twentieth of December. But that's okay. That's how long. Just around Christmas. Time. That's how long we took, and it, it could have taken much longer. Okay, uh, December twenty. If you could tell us a little bit, I, I believe uh, I believe in your report. You you use the word substantive. Some of your changes, recommended changes, are, are kind of bigger, and then others were more uh, proofreading or even grammar uh, punctuation or or, right. or updating certain right. terminology. Could you tell us a little bit about the substantive versus non-substantive changes? Because today yeah. we're really only going to talk about like the bigger ones. Right. The, going going through the charter uh, line by line, we we didn't. We didn't look for particular uh, areas that we wanted to look at. Okay. There, wa there wasn't a, a specific agenda. I don't think anyone on the committee had, you know, I want to look at this area. It's, but right. going through it line by line, it became very clear that there, as you said, there were, there were some parts of it that simply needed to be dusted off. Okay. The, some of the language was archaic, even right. from, from the 1960s. Oh. And we tried to uh, work through that to the best of our ability. And so much of it is not something that changes any of the powers, it just changes the way it's written, hopefully to clarify it okay. and to make it a little more readable. Updated. Um, uh, but separately from that, as we went through, we did find that there were, there were certain topics that had been talked about in, in, the, in the community, uh, had been brought to our attention, or simply that we, we realized as we were going through, that was something that was, this is going to either expand the power of the town or limit it in some way or some area of it. Okay. And we'll be talking about what those are, but we're not going to be talking about how we try to get rid of the word such and repla right. replace it with the. That was a long conversation. Yes. Um, okay, and <coughs> just basically how is the charter uh, structured? Is it just one long document? Is it broken up into sections or different and, and it is Topics? it is one long document. It's broken up into uh, what are sub chapters, and okay. the reason they're sub chapters is because there are sub chapters of the chapter oh. of the Vermont statutes that apply oh, okay. to Bennington. So they're called sub chapters, but we had been referring wow. to them as as chapters, chapters, and there are eight of them. Eight uh, chapters, and yeah. I, I think I have most of them memorized. But the the first is the the, the powers of the town, obviously the most most important. Okay. Um, the second is uh, officers. I, I think it just says officers, but okay. it's the officers it of the town. These are the the uh, who's elected, uh, who's appointed. These okay. are the people that run the town. All right. um, the the third is the select board. Okay. Uh, the uh, legislative body of the town. Okay. Um, fourth is then uh, town manager. Oh. I'm impressed. The administration. This is good. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, fifth is is everyone's probably favorite subject of. Taxation. taxation, and uh, the sixth one is actually slipping my mind. Oh, you're doing I, so well. I believe it that starts that might. With a Z. Oh, yeah. The sixth one is is something that I think everyone might want to forget, but that, that was that's zoning. Zoning. Okay. Seventh is the shortest, uh, the water system. Water system. And okay. we have a, a wonderful last subchapter of miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. Everything else they couldn't they couldn't put in any other subchapter. Yeah. Okay. Well, what we're going to do? Oh, and there's also a preamble. Correct. That's right. That's right. The, the preamble. Made a change to the preamble. Yeah. I thought we got rid of it. <coughs> no, well, we of the oh, change, it's not part I, of I think the, the, the recommendation okay. is still in in what we have, but technically the preamble is. I don't believe it's, uh, um, it's substantive law. But okay. Okay. We, oh, it's we are recommending technically it. Technically, not part of the the mm. law. Okay, yeah. okay. And uh, so we're just going to go chapter by chapter, but before we do, I have one quick question. Is select board one word or two words? That was that was actually something, uh, for me, I'm, I'm 
fairly happy that the committee agreed with me is that okay. the select board in Bennington is two words. Two words. Capitalized select board. Okay, two words. That's the only select board in Vermont. Every other oh. select board is one word okay. select board in, okay. in all Except of Vermont. In Bennington. But we did discuss that. And you fought pretty hard for that, huh? Ultimately, we, we chose to keep it unique. Okay. I would like to add something on that, though. Certainly. One of the changes that was made throughout the document was making sure that it said select board instead of select board members because oh. select board yeah. referred to the body as a whole okay. and members were individuals so we oh. really did edit out most of the word member unless it was specific to right. a member as Drilled opposed to the board. Deep, huh? wow, yes, okay. we did. Wow, great. Well, Robert, I'd also like to add one yes. other thing which is that we met weekly okay. from July through December 20th okay. and in some weeks a couple of weeks we met twice for evening presentations right. as well as having both the ability to have people submit comments online oh, come right. to the meetings send us um, mail or emails to the group and okay. so we every week we discussed who may have submitted right. comments. So you're trying mm -hmm. to get input from people, not just do this in a, in a vacuum. Was any of this covered by the uh, by the Bennington banner? Did did they attend any of the meetings? Or? Uh, yes, no. uh, Jim yeah. Therian um, okay. actually did. I would say m maybe half a dozen articles over oh, the oh, yeah. oh, great. the few months, and there were uh, a Stu Heard, the town manager, right, uh, included our work or our ongoing work right. in the. Uh, in his town manager report, which okay. oh, is published. Okay. okay, great. Okay, so we got some coverage. Well, great. Uh, having said all that, let's uh, let's get right to it. Um, is there anything substantive in the preamble that you, any changes you made that are, are worthy of, of note? I'll that? defer to Sean Marie on that. Okay. Just I believe that we added to improve the operation of town oh. government okay which i believe was was this a longer preamble or did we shorten it it's pretty concise shall okay. i read yeah. it oh sure go ahead the people of bennington reaffirm faith in government of the people by the people and for the people and describe this government in a charter with provisions to review and amend the charter of the town of bennington reflects concern to improve the quality of life for all people and to improve the operation of town government. Well, that's beautiful. Okay. So great. that is the preamble to the charter. To the charter of the town of Bennington. Okay, so let's jump into this. Uh, Subchapter one, powers of the town, and, and we understand that we're talking about <coughs> bigger changes here, substantive changes, not, not every comma and semicolon that got changed. So tell us what the committee came up with in subchapter one? So j just in general with subchapter one, the, the committee viewed powers of the town quite literally as powers of the town. Okay. And this is reaffirming that the town has the powers that are that are given in statute, that the charter shouldn't limit it. And that's generally what it was. Okay. Um, and so the, the biggest change that we are recommending in that is to eliminate an entire additional town powers. I believe that's the oh. the uh, the section uh, which specifically apply to ordinances, okay. which are the powers of the select board, which is part of the town. So we're asking that that be moved to the oh. separate ordinance section in uh, a later subject. Okay. So you didn't eliminate board. that; you just moved it to a different part. Eliminated of the, the wording, right. kept all of the powers okay. of the town. We're okay. not eliminating the powers of the town, but just actually putting it into the powers of the select board where those where those lie. Okay. And the the only other uh, change in that section is uh, a. Um, power that the town has for recall of our officers. Okay. Uh, that is, the voters can recall those they voted in. Okay. And the the change in that is is in two parts, one to make it clearer, and the other is to make it slightly easier, although it's a very difficult process anyway. Okay. We just to, to make the process of recall easier for the citizens? S somewhat, yes. Okay. There, there, was a, there was something of a deadline in terms of submitting a petition for recall of okay. 15 days. All right. The, the language as it read, it was unclear 15 days in relation to what. Oh. 
it was unclear. Right. Um, so we removed that both to make it absolutely obvious that you can simply submit a petition and then it, it will go through the process, uh, and also to uh, eliminate any potential argument that it wasn't done in 15 days, so therefore okay. um, the recall can't can't go forward. So and and the recall uh, is applicable to any elected position in the town, or just or just members of the select board. Because we have we elect a couple of other officers. That is something that I would have to actually look at the look at the language for because I'm not okay. entirely sure. Okay. Okay. Um, so Sean Marie, since this is right in front of you, let us know if that's took out applicable that to everybody. Fifteen day no. uh, requirement. Okay, we don't have to go into all of that. All right. So that's all you did in subchapter one. That Powers was subchapter one. Substantive. Subchapter two. Officers. And uh, what do we have here? Subchapter two. Officers. Go for it, Sean Marie. I'm refreshing my memory. Okay. Subchapter two. Is this where we did the the attendance? This, this is this is where we did the the constable. Constable. Oh. Yeah. Okay. We have a constable in Bennington. So there has not been a no. constable in no. Bennington. Oh. I don't know if there ever was a constable in Bennington, but the Benning the language was to remove the requirement for a constable because we have a police force and we have yeah. a police chief and there the constable would have had to have been a certified law enforcement officer oh, okay. so we thought this was redundant and there was also costs associated with a constable so we felt that that was covered in the police department okay so this calls for the charter to basically eliminate this position of constable. Correct. Okay. Yes. Uh, but and this position has not been filled in several years. It's not like I think it's more not like we several. have one now that we'd be getting rid of. But no. We have we're one. not eliminating right. okay. a person or um, or a position. And let me just ask real quick because uh, in my outline mm -hmm. of it, uh, I see elective officers and appointive officers. And what the difference, what the difference is, yeah. the, the elective officers are those elected by the voters of the town. Okay. The, the appointive officers are those that are appointed by the select board. By the select yeah. board, but some of them are still called officers. Okay, is that it for subchapter two? It officers? is. Okay. That was it. Okay, subchapter three, uh, select board. Make any changes in subchapter three? We did. Yes, we did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and... Um, I'm thankful for for Sean Marie here and with the uh, we all with, are with the uh, <laughs> with the with our the report book. in front of us because <laughs> yeah. what what we're trying to just reflect here on a video what we have in our report so we're not right. trying to add anything so to to any right. degree that we're trying to it seems to be that we're not right um, so the the main part of well uh, so in chapter three select board the select board where there were two sort of changes that we made. One was to the, um, to the select board members okay. and to the select board chair, and the other had to do with uh, absent, absenteeism. So there were two sort of substantive changes that we made, if you okay. could call them that, okay. that we decided um, we'd heard much feedback about leadership and vision. Okay in the community uh, more anecdotally than anybody uh, w one person did uh, come and speak to us at one of our hearings and so we have recommended language that says the chair shall be the head of town government for all ceremonial purposes okay. the, the chair of the select board the chair of the select board so the chair yeah. of the select board is one of the elected members who then the select board vote in as chair okay. and so they w the board members would need to be mindful over who they would like to represent them as in a for ceremonial purposes okay. at a ribbon cutting or a, a, a state official visiting or um a b other suggestions uh, opening a new building or opening a new yeah. building yeah. and uh, did you put any <coughs> specific requirements mm -hmm. like the the, the chair would have to go to this many functions in a year or, or would have to go to certain functions or now, anything that specific? The, the recommendation w was simply to, to clarify and, and designate uh, 
a head of town government for ceremonial purposes, and it would be okay. the chair who was right. that ceremonial person to determine right. the extent of that. Of, um, of what to do. Of what to do. Okay. okay. And I do believe that in looking at the current select board that I have mm -hmm. seen the current chair at many different functions. Okay. And I think it, it's a natural, um, a natural progression that whoever is the chair would, in fact, be at some of these functions. Okay. So we put it more in, in, in what would be in the town statute or the town charter to say this is what's expected. Okay, that seems pretty innocuous and non-threatening. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> what else did we do in, in subchapter three? So in, in terms board? of just staying with the organization of, of the select board, there are two other changes. One is to um, require that there be uh, rules of procedure and conduct that the select board okay. uh, have. I believe they have that now, but this is something that would be in the charter that would require that they actually have these th okay. this policy. How, how the members of the select board conduct themselves their own at business. meetings, or yeah, their their own procedure and their own policies for making making okay. uh, decisions. Include things like conflict of interest rules, things like that, or it or could, or just Ultimate. how they run the meetings. It, it could include both okay. of that. It's up to them however, to come up. However, with they come oh, up with okay. it. okay. And, and right now, it's it's uh, there. There is a there is a conflict policy. There is also a. a procedure policy okay. that, that they that they do have. It just hasn't been required. Okay. Um, the other in terms of organization, I believe Sean Marie mentioned this briefly, is that there's an absenteeism section. That absenteeism. That is, okay. if you're not showing up and you're a select board member, there's a possibility uh, under certain circumstances that you would no longer be a select board member. And the, uh, the specifics of that, um, it's a little dry. But a uh, select board member who was absent from four consecutive warned select board meetings or 50% or more of warned select board meetings in any six month period is removed. Would be removed so, automatically. I, I, if I recall, it was an automatic. Right. So it wouldn't be the other members of the select board voting to make this happen. Correct. It would be that happening. That select board member is no longer a member. Okay. And then the, the remaining select board would appoint a replacement, a replacement until the next election. That person. And okay. just to be clear, that replacement could be the select board member that had been absent. That seems less clear, but that's, <laughs> a, but but, that's okay. But it, it's, it's not limited to, okay. uh, to that. So in, okay. in the, this could be the case where um, a select board member has uh, had some sudden illness or, or something like that, and that okay. caused the absenteeism. Right. It would still be an automatic removal, but the select board could take that into consideration okay. and, and, and reappoint and that very literally person. appoint yeah. that person. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's that's how our recommendation is right. at this point. Uh, do you recall from your discussions? Do other towns have anything like this? An absenteeism clause? There uh, were that a number of there were a number of other charters okay. that did include that, that do that. absent. Um, I think it was what's the opposite of of absenteeism. They had to be attendance. at attendance. 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 Yeah. They had to be at so many meetings. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah that, that's a, that's a provision that's not unheard of, and, All right. and at least for our understanding, it would, I I don't have my own personal um, experience with this, but that at other times in the past had become an issue. Okay, with with absenteeism yeah. on the select board. Okay, anything else in, in subchapter three? Well, it was it's just again to reiterate for the public, it's not that it would be up to the select board to decide if that person had missed so many right. uh, meetings. It's more that we want the government to function okay. with the seven members, and with six members it's not a full board. Yeah, board. Okay. And, and there are some others, and primarily in relation to select board and ordinances. There's Ordinance. some change in terms of their solid waste ordinances, which uh. is not just adding a definition. Okay. Um, but it's also moving it from subchapter one into subchapter three. three. Okay. Um, uh, also, there's some change to get, grant the select board more power in terms of uh, construction or um, plumbing regulations. Oh. There's a slight. Okay. Uh, there's a slight limitation right now that it only has to be for hazards or danger. 
we're suggesting that it simply should be for whatever reasons that the, okay. the select board. Um, and then you said uh, this is like plumbing, wiring, construct, building construction. Yeah, specifically plumbing, heating, and wiring. Okay. I, I believe All is right. what's, so this gives these are these are minimum standards for that. Okay. All right. And they're plugged into subchapter three. Okay. Now that we're on four. We're not on four yet, I okay. don't think, are we? Okay. We're still in three. Uh, there's something, uh, isn't there something you did ab about intrusive technologies? Yeah, that's the terminology that, that we had used, and it's, this would be a new power for the town uh, to um, create ordinances when it comes to intrusive technologies, and the examples that we had for that are such things as, as drones, uh, physical oh, things, okay. um, also uh, Uber, Airbnb, oh. that sort of thing. And I, I think also the, uh, the term urban chickens had been used. Urban um, chickens. Um, so th this is something that would be, I believe it would be unique to Bennington that, right. that the, the state to a certain degree doesn't, um, uh, doesn't legislate, but we'd be giving the, or we'd be, we're recommending that the, that the town have that power to suddenly say drones cannot be flown okay. down the middle of Main oh, Street okay. as one, one example. Right. Um, is there a difference between an urban chicken and like a suburban chicken or a country <laughs> chicken? I didn't know this was an issue. Well, I think in the article that we read, it had to do with in cities, um, people having put up a, a little chicken coop and okay. You know, oh, okay, and you know having their own eggs or right. Well, okay. just in terms of the chickens, I think there are probably a number of people that are that are listening to this who both have those chickens and are woken up in the morning and don't have those chickens and are woken up in the morning. But also, again, that's just an example. We're okay. not recommending that there be okay. any sort of put urban any chicken. Specific ordinance. language yeah. about urban chickens. Yeah. Okay. Anything else in subchapter three? The the final one with that uh, it was in relation to the uh, well the 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 Bennington Fire Department. Okay. Which is our, volunteer fire department. This is our volunteer fire okay. department. And as the uh, as the charter has read, the Bennington Fire Department, the fire department for the town of Bennington must be a volunteer department. Okay. Um, and it came up that this is something that might in the future not be sustainable. Right. Um, the concern is not now, but this is, you know, decades in advance. And the thought was, oh. well, if uh, if that's some sometime not sustainable and the town has to act, they would have to go through a charter change in order to act. To do what? I'm, I'm not sure. To actually have a paid fire department. Oh, to pay. Or to pay drivers. Oh, or, or part pay, pay combination right. department. Right. Or, okay. So that, that actually has to go through the charter amendment process to be able to even talk about yeah. that. Okay. And, and we haven't talked about the process, but the process is a long one. Okay. Um, right. And and we, at least in Bennington, we're just at the beginning of it. So. Right. Um, okay. So, uh, are are you recommending that the fire department be changed from a volunteer department to a no. paid department? Is that what you're saying? No. Absolutely not. Okay. And it's just to give the possibility of that, if it's required. Okay. And it would require a vote to do so from the volunteer fire from department From the firefighters themselves. Yes. They, they would have to agree they would to have make to agree this change. Along with the select board. And then go to the, yes, and then go to the select board for, for approval. <laughs> okay, <laughs> great. Anything else in subchapter three? I think that was it for okay. subchapter three. A lot of stuff in there. Yeah. Subchapter four, town manager. What, you doing anything here? Well, this is the, this is the chapter where we had well, we had discussions about all of the chapters, but in terms of the town manager, we were very uh, aware that th that there were people talking about a mayoral petition at the time when we first started talking. The petition had not been submitted. So part of the conversation okay. around town manager was around, did the committee want to explore a mayoral form of government? Okay. So what we heard from uh, comments, submissions, people standing up at meetings, was that they f wanted to see more accountability. At least that's how we interpreted the, the, the concerns or the feedback, okay. is that they wanted more accountability for the select board and for the town manager. So some of the changes that, we've, that we're recommending in this section have specifically to do with making 
this position more accountable? And I'll okay. let Rob talk about the first change that we put in. Well, there, for the, the town manager specifically, there, there are a couple of changes just in terms of um, required accountability. R right now, the removal, um, I'll call it a process, uh, for the town manager is uh, fairly broad for the select board. They can okay. do, it's fairly, fairly easy for the select board to remove the town manager. Oh, but there's you no. You mean fire, right? To that's, fire the town. That manager. That would be fire. Okay. Yes. Uh, but the um, the review is not required. So we've performance review. Performance oh, review. Oh, okay. So our our recommendations are essentially twofold uh, with that. The the first is that. The appointment is no longer going to be indefinite. The contract is not going to be indefinite. Okay. It will be a three-year contract for oh. the town manager that can be reviewed at the end of the three years, okay. presumably somewhat before the end of the three years. And that could, that could be an indefinite renewal, right. but it would okay. still have to be something that would be affirmatively renewed every three years. By the select board. By the every, select board. Every three years they would have to say, let's keep the manager yeah. or not. Yeah, because okay. the, the town manager is one of the appointed officers. Okay. Um, okay. It's one of the, the appointments from the select board. The other is that annually the select board will also have to do a performance review of the town, of manager. The town manager. And although I understand that that is done now, it has not been. Uh, in the past, okay. and it's not required. Oh. Uh, our recommendation is is a requirement for them, and and those those two things I think uh, is are the the main parts of giving some accountability for the town manager in, in our recommendation. Okay, is that it in sub chapter four, town manager? Anything else? Mm -mm. Okay. There. Well, there there's one. Oh God. Well, the, yeah. and it, this was. We didn't necessarily write it as a substantive change, but yeah. one of the the language in the current charter that exists uh, states that the town manager shall give a bond to the town, and we've altered that to say the town manager shall be bonded because they they are bonded by another institution. Okay. So we just tried to make that clear. Okay. We also um, tried to clear up <coughs> language that the the manager shall, under policies approved by the select board, be the general purchasing agent of the town and purchase all equipment and supplies and contract for services for every department pursuant to the purchasing and bid policies that must be approved by the select board. Wow. Can you shorten <laughs> that at all? You lost me at pursuant. So are yeah. you saying that this you, uh, you want the select board to approve every purchasing nope. decision the town manager Thank made? Thank you for asking yeah. these clarifying questions. Okay. We're asking or recommending that the select board have policies around purchasing and bid policies so oh. that the manager can follow okay. the policies that are voted on by okay. the select board. Yeah. They don't have that now, huh? Okay. Well. So well, the, the, the town manager will will have to follow them. Right. I think that's, that's okay. more of the limitation is okay. that there would have to be a policy, and there they would have to be followed. Okay. would have to be followed. All right, and that's in terms of spending money. Yeah. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. So that's subchapter four, town manager. Uh, subchapter five, taxation. Uh, you you blow right through this pretty quick, or do you make any changes to taxation? Well, I would like no. to comment on water and sewer. Oh, Good. never mind. You you will that's have a, that opportunity. I know. That's number, that's I know. Seven. You'll have that Sorry. opportunity. I'm jumping ahead. That's okay. Uh, you're excited. <laughs> we know. Uh, taxation. <laughs> Subchapter five. Taxation. Anything there? Yes. Okay. So in this section, there are a number of areas under that section. There's okay. um, fair market value of real estate. There's the Benning. In downtown improvement district. Oh. There's special assessments. There's the tax within the Bennington Rural Fire Department. Wow. And what we have recommended, or some of the recommended changes, I think there's mm. another area as well. So we had, again, <coughs> lengthy discussions around the, the in this taxation because um, everybody uh, perks up when you hear taxes and one of the changes we made 
Do you have it in front of you, Robert? Yeah, we, primarily our discussions on taxation had to do with the downtown improvement district. Thank okay. you. There's another section we'll get to in a second. Okay. Um, so the downtown improvement district is basically a, a district in downtown okay. that's specially taxed for its own improvement. Okay, a, t a tax in addition to the regular property tax yes. that everybody pays. Yes, in addition, okay. yes. And so the way that works right now is that the boundaries of that district um, were voted on by the voters of oh, the town okay. and approved. Okay. And that's um, how it was established. And a change to that map, either to expand or to, to contract it, right now can only be done by the voters of the town. Okay. Uh, we're recommending that instead of all of the voters of the town, it would be the select board that would be able to uh, make a change to the map. Okay. And only after certain uh, certain um, hearings. Hearings. Hear yeah. Public yeah. hearings. Yeah. Okay. The procedure is is taken, and the the purpose for that was uh, so that there would be a little more flexibility for the select board, and also so that there would be more of a focused discussion on just those that would be directly affected by okay. by the tax. Oh, okay. And the other uh, aspect of that tax as well is that we're recommending, and it's this is a little uh, little detailed, but um, right now it's the business or non-residential property in that district that is taxed. Okay, non-residential property in the downtown district pays this extra tax. Correct. Okay. And the that means that uh, residential rental properties are not subject to this to the tax. Okay. And so that okay. income making property is not something that's that's taxed okay. presently. Our recommendation is to include the income making portions, those rental okay. properties as uh, something that could be taxed. Okay. Not or would owner be taxed as well. Not owner occupied Correct. residences, but no. not owner okay. occupied residences and not the the portions of the rental properties right. that are occupied by the owner. Right. Um, it's, like it's in a duplex. It's a little it detail. Be, right. It right. could be proportional. Okay. It's a little detail, but our understanding of that, or our, our, our view of that, was that if it if it generates income, then uh, there's a uh, a benefit to that property owner okay. from that downtown district. Right. So, Using that money to make yeah. downtown a better place yeah. to, to live in. Yeah. Okay. There was one thing about the water and sewer, and I think what we did is we in clarified taxation. in in taxation. We clarified uh, okay. that the people who are charged for the water are the people who are using the water, water okay. and sewer. So it's charged to owners of real estate that is serviced by the municipal water sewer. Okay. We made that um, just clearer language instead of a whole paragraph. Right, and that was in Chapter 5 taxation. Correct. Okay. Okay, yeah. anything else in Chapter 5? In, in that chapter, there's one other part to the downtown district, and this is just a procedure in terms of how the the budget for the downtown district is is developed and submitted to the select board. Okay. Right now, the uh, town contracts uh, with another agency to um, essentially run the district. I'll say, say it's, it's running, and they develop the budget that they will be using for that that okay. purpose, right. and that's submitted to the select board. The way the charter has it is that the town manager would be submitting that, and oh, okay. uh, we're recommending that simply the the town manager or the uh, or a designee essentially um, oh, okay. be someone that could uh, submit, submit the, the submit the budget and that's how practice has been for okay. for some time now. Okay. The 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 biggest one, perhaps. I'll, I'll let Sean Marie actually talk about the <laughs> about that one. Oh. All right. So there is a new section in chapter in subchapter five. And that has to do with the local option tax. Local option tax, okay. And <coughs> I, I just want to, uh, and Robert can, or Rob can mm -hmm. certainly um, add to this. I want to be very clear okay. that the reason that this is recommended in the charter is to give the select board the option at some point in the future to exercise the ability to ask the voters if they would approve a local option tax. And okay. the local option tax could be on any one of the current taxes, uh, room and, or 
we separated meals, room, alcoholic beverage, or I think it's retail sales. Okay. And so I know that there has been some discussion already about the committee recommending this tax, but we are not recommending this tax. We are recommending language to give the select board the option in the future should they choose to do it after a number of hearings. And the only way it would pass or would become part of the, the landscape would be if the voters approved such a local okay. option tax. So, so you're not recommending that this tax be created in no. the charter. You are recommending that the charter give the select board the ability to take this issue to the voters to see if the voters would approve this tax. Is that correct? Right. That sounds about right. And I think we're uh, slightly mm -hmm. limited on time here at this table, but yeah, this has right. a long history in that um, there were only certain towns that are allowed to do this. Oh. And Bennington, many towns were not allowed to do this. And the way to implement this, should you choose to implement it, is to have it written into the town charter. Okay. Did okay. you want to add to that or it would just get confusing? I, I think y you summed it up is, is right now certain towns uh, can actually tax themselves if they want. Bennington cannot. Okay. So we oh, simply think, okay. well, uh, I suppose I'll speak for myself with this. I think it should be fair that Bennington should have that option too if we wanted. Right. And we might not want to, but right. we should have the power to, okay. to be able to do that. So this just, the, the, the changes you're recommending here are simply to allow the town to think about doing this. You're not recommending that it be done. Correct. Uh, in the charter. And is there any uh, limit uh, to what this tax could be? I mean, how much it would be? Uh, yeah, in terms of the, the actual language that we're recommending, it's essentially taken from the state statute, which okay. limits the, the tax to certain uh, areas. Sales tax, meals tax, alcohol tax, and there's one on rooms. Um, for rooms, rooms is there. Thank you. Right. Um, and so it would be limited to it would be limited to to those areas. So right. it wouldn't be something where you could tax someone walking down the street. Right. It would be those taxes. Uh, and it would also be <laughs> also be limited to um, uh, one percent. That's what I was looking for. Not more. Okay. That, yeah. Not how, less. how much? How yeah. much? That everyone's looking for. How much am I going to be? How taxed? much not comes out of my pocket yeah. for this? One percent. Okay. It, well, it right. wouldn't. It couldn't be more. It couldn't be less okay. with the language we're And, and would this money have to be used for a specific thing, or would the select board be able to decide how to spend the money, or does it have to be for certain improvements or anything like that? Select board would decide. Would decide, and would put that to the voters, or I, something the voters might think about, or. I haven't re they could leave that. I think it's just the select board. Like, okay. like we'll decide how to spend. Yeah. Right. Okay. Anything else in taxation? Mm -mm. Well, that didn't sound too bad. Right? <laughs> Thought that was going to be rough. Okay. Uh, sub chapter six zoning. Anything in zoning? I think we modernized some of That's the language okay. and yeah. we took out obsolete language. Okay. Um, but nothing big. Th no there's big actually changes. there's nothing substantive that we're recommending in zoning even though there's strikeouts of, of particular things regarding right. old ordinances. Okay, it's, it's right. You're just trying to yeah. update, yeah. modernize everything. So okay. here's just the change. So there is no longer a board of adjustment. It's now the development review board. Okay. So right. that is changed in 603, you know, three times to make right. sure that we have have set stated the name correctly. Okay, mm -hmm. consistent language. All right, subchapter seven. Here you go. Water mm -hmm. system. So you You're so water. excited. What did yeah. you do in subchapter seven? Well, we actually didn't do anything in oh, subchapter seven. We've been waiting seven. to get to it. But the reason I I wanted to say something <coughs> is we did have comments on creating a town, a, a water board, and okay. we had some feedback from citizens. And so when we looked into the town powers and the water system. The language that's in the charter currently allows the select board to create one should they want to do it. So we felt that we didn't okay. we didn't need to really go much further with that right. discussion because it's an option for the select okay. board. And so they would know more about it than right. than the committee. So would. we don't have a water board in Bennington? No. Who, who runs the water system? The, well I think the, the select, select board. board. Oh the select board is 
the water board. They, Correct. They make those decisions. Okay. I think you could say it that way, but I don't think there's technically a water board. In okay. Benton all, right. all. It's just okay. the select board. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that wasn't much. All right. Yeah. Uh, Subchapter eight. We're almost done. Miscellaneous. Yes. Anything in there? Yeah. And in terms of what miscellaneous is, this is uh, I like to think of it kind of as a uh, uh, legislative or statutory. Um, Restatement. <laughs> well, it's. Uh, uh, Artifact. Are you a lawyer by any <laughs> chance? I, I am. I am. All right. A lawyer. Okay. Um, but uh, th there's most of this section uh, has to do with uh, the um, merging of villages. That would be Old Bennington and, and North Bennington and okay. procedures regarding that, which technically, when the modern charter was originally uh, passed, this part wasn't part of the charter. Okay. Uh, it was a separate act of, of the legislature. Somewhere along the way, it got added into a subchapter eight. Right. And so um, that's why I think of it as, as a, something of a remnant from the past. So most of it we, we simply did not touch because it's, a, it's an old procedure. And the only one okay. substantive change there that we're recommending is that the committee that we were on should happen more often. The Charter Review the Committee. The Charter Review Committee okay. uh, should be required uh, at least once every five years. Oh, okay. So that it, it wouldn't be another 12 year period okay. before it's reviewed. Okay. So I just. So every five years. So to elaborate on that, yes, I do. believe that the, the last couple of times there was mm. a charter review and amendment, the charter was not done from page 1 to 19. It was oh. a specific area that needed to be addressed. Oh. And so oh. we went from, as Rob had said in the beginning, from page 1, right. line Preamble. by line, Preamble. Uh, right straight through. Oh and we felt that 12 years was probably too long to review the whole charter as things change. Okay. And in terms of the miscellaneous, it w I'm looking at the charter. It was must have been Act 83 of 1966 wow. uh, to provide a charter for the town of Bennington and this included the old Bennington and village of North Bennington. Okay. So we simply left it as is because that's uh, basically the law. Right. And we didn't mm. feel the need to even address any okay. of it. Okay. And so you're recommending that every five years th th the select board put together uh, a charter review committee to take a look at the charter? Correct. Okay. At least every five years. At least every five years. do it every years. year. So okay. <laughs> so, and, and that brings us to the yeah. end, I believe. Yeah. So, does that so mean next? that your work having been completed, that this is now law, this is now the new charter of the town yeah. of Bennington, we're done? Nowhere near. Oh. Uh, everything that we've done is simply recommendations that we're making to the select board. And okay. the next steps are this, is that select board, which they've started, uh, will discuss our recommendations. Okay. And the select board itself will decide whether or not all of them, any of them, or none of them oh. should be put to the voters okay. of, the town of the town to determine uh, if that is the recommendation that the town wants. And okay. I say recommendation because even after the voters, even after the select board right. puts it to the voters, and even after the voters vote, uh, it still wouldn't be law until oh. it's passed by the legislature oh. and also signed by the governor. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. So w the town ultimately when the, uh, if we want to change the charter, one of our legislators is going to submit it to, to the Vermont legislature for as any other statute or any other bill oh. uh, would be passed and then the legislature will have their own okay. hearings, their own discussions on on passing that. So it's, there's still a long way to go in okay. terms of discussions uh, and there could be changes along the way to any of our recommendations uh, so there's um, that's the the next steps here and, and that's how this committee is going through the steps is through okay. the select board there's also the other way which we've mentioned of the uh, voters of the town uh, submitting a petition uh, and I believe it's five percent of, of the voters uh, and if that petition reaches the 5%, then there will be uh, a vote uh, okay. from the town on a charter change. Okay. Oh, and again, oh. if that passes, then that would go to the legislature. That, that has to go that to the legislature yeah. as so well. Okay. That's just two processes of getting it into 
the legislature to okay. determine if so state law should happen. It looked so like you were going to say something. I, I was. Please do. So our recommendation as a committee okay. was to um, to put this forward as a whole unit. Okay. And what Rob is saying oh. is that while we may have recommended this as our final product, the select board has the ability to change it, do it in parts, however oh, they... parse it out a little bit and it, vote for this section or that section? It's really, okay. it's really up to them, but we okay. did write, as you could uh, read in our final report, that we were recommending that it get put as a whole because we really updated the language as we'd mentioned throughout <coughs> the whole document. Okay. And the other thing I just would like to add as we close is that uh, we forgot to mention that we had a municipal, uh, a very experienced municipal lawyer. I was going to ask yeah. about that. Who worked with the, <laughs> with the, who worked with the committee, and we would send up questions, Kay. which you could find in our, you know, in the whole packet of what we asked the lawyer, what other towns might do, um, what language he might recommend if we wanted to do this. Kay. So we weren't really working. Uh, as you know, in a vacuum, right. in terms of the seven committee members deciding, oh, we like this or we don't like that. But we had extensive back and forth with uh, Jim Barlow. Jim he, Barlow, okay. He came down twice and oh. did public um, presentations on mayor, uh, town, select, you know, the different uh, formations of government types of government in the state of Vermont. Okay. So I felt pretty confident that we were getting really good information. Okay, right. And some guidance. Is, he, he mm -hmm. give you any advice on whether he thought, you know, this language would be more accepted by the state legislature or, or this concept might not, you know, get much traction up there, that kind of, uh, that kind of advice or, or simply it, it was that kind of advice okay. and, and also his knowledge of, of different municipalities right. and how they function. So it was it was it was brought in okay. uh, fairly well experienced. You've mentioned the attorney. final report. Is that what this is? It is. Yeah, handsomely bound. Uh, well is it thick <laughs> enough? Um, or could you So the final report and I won't rattle the pages here. Yeah, the please, final please, report yeah. is seven pages, I believe, and oh. that's our report. Okay. Which goes over what Rob and I just talked about. Okay. And then the rest of what you see, the two inches, is our minutes, the presentations, oh. any documentation we received from the lawyer, any communication we received back and forth Kay. from the lawyer, any public comments, oh. news articles. Wow. Oh, what else is Now there? you say final yeah. report. Were you making reports all along the way and this is the last one or? No. Oh. No, no. I suppose this is it, the it, it's the report. <laughs> and, this is the report. It's, it's at the um, at the finale. Okay. <laughs> if anybody wanted to look yeah. through all of this, uh, is there anywhere that they can go to see it? The town of Bennington website. Okay. We the the have, town's webpage. Yeah, okay. We, we have put all of our minutes and agendas are there, but we've also uh, attempted to put as much of as an of an archive of of the work that we did into split up into four, uh, but into into one book, as, as Sean Marie has in front of her. And that's both for the process from now on and also hopefully five years from now when right. there's another committee, they'll be able to, to review what we had done uh, and hopefully not right. entirely reinvent the, okay. reinvent the wheel. And is the work of the committee done or is it a situation where the select board might come back to the committee and say, revisit this issue or, or think about this again, or, or are you guys yeah. finished? Uh, we don't know the answer to that. Oh, I okay. suppose since we, we had to let you go at some point, right? We we still uh, exist, so I think uh, the select board could make oh. further uh, requests of us. But right now, we're essentially trying to make ourselves available for the the further discussions that okay. are. Okay. So there. if you know, in any of the hearings leading up to the town meeting, or when this gets voted on, if they choose to do that, I believe mm -hmm. the committee had expressed its willingness to help the select board either do what we're doing now, articulate why we made the recommendations we did, or basically stand behind our recommendations okay. to the public. Okay. Um, sounds like you did a lot of work. Um, uh, I don't want to put either one of you on the spot, but anything else you would like to add before we're done, or any message you'd like to, to give to the 
people benefit yeah, the, the only thing I'm hoping, and, and we, we had this session to sort of go through all of it, but I'm really hoping that, that those who are interested will, will go to the website, read the report, and, and read all of our changes, and then dig even deeper. Because uh, we did discuss uh, as much as possible uh, every aspect of this and, and see how we got to these uh, ultimate recommendations because we're, we're hoping to keep a record of it and also to have everyone be as involved, uh, at least as informed as possible as, as it goes forward. Okay. Sean Marie? Well, Robert, thank you for having us. Thank I will good. say that um, I knew some of the committee members, but I do believe oh. that in getting to know them, I, I don't believe anybody came with an agenda. Uh, everyone was open-minded. People either changed their mind, changed them back, and one example of that might be uh, we felt strongly about putting the fire department language in to give them mm -hmm. the option. Okay. The f uh, some of the fire department uh, members and chiefs felt that um, they weren't heard, so we actually reversed the recommendation. Oh. Then we had more discussion and asked for alternative language from um, Mr. Barlow upstate and ultimately I believe we came to what I think is a compromise to allow um, changes to go forward should they need be changes in the future. Okay. And so I think the committee worked very diligently for quite a few months and while we may know this in, you know, inside and out, the public needs time to take a look at right, the changes. Right, right. And, and you obviously came in with uh, an agenda to keep uh, select board is two words, um, as opposed to combining <laughs> those. It, uh, he did. You, That's you came not true. In that, is that why you got on the committee? <laughs> that, to, that, to, that to is make not true. It, it was okay. only it was only after Jim mentioned that it was okay. unique to us that okay. I okay wanted to keep that. Know, well, I, I think that's great. You know, even that agenda was not there, but it, I stuck to it and okay. stuck and by We kept that recommendation. Great. Okay, Sean Marie Oler. Thank you. Rob Plunkett, uh, both co-chairs of the Town of Bennington's. Charter Review Committee. Thank you both for coming in and, and explaining this all to us. Uh, that's going to wrap things up for this edition of the Bennington News Hour. Uh, please go to the select board meetings. They are discussing these recommendations of the Charter uh, at their meetings, the next few meetings. The final report is available on the Town of Bennington's webpage. Please get involved and uh, be sure to vote on this when the time comes. Good night and have a pleasant tomorrow.